Okay, we're back with the Nun Semper 40 by the Four State QRP Group. Look them up on the web. This is a wonderful little transmitter we have talked about before. Very straightforward, great for beginners. And what I like is the high level of output power. As we saw last time from a 12 volt battery, we're getting about 8.5 to 9 watts. Now, I have put this on 13.8 volts AC supply and it is over 10 watts so got plenty of output which is important for beginners they need a little extra push um, from the normal 5 watt QRP level to make those first contacts as I mentioned before I did make one slight modification which almost everyone does which was to use the SIP pins as a crystal socket and we get the 7030 crystal as provided and with the crystal itself single crystal we're tuning somewhere around 7028 um, plus or minus a little bit that seems to be a common uh, frequency drops at about 2 kilohertz below the marked crystal frequency as I mentioned I, I was interested in making a couple more mods and the first one I did um, was to provide a little VXO circuit board for this transmitter and I'll show that to you. Let me remove power here. Um, now we've got the single crystal here and we're going to remove it and I've got this little device that I have built up here that I call Simple Simon uh, just because it's about as straightforward as you can get. It has a uh, polyvericon capacitor here and a spot for two different crystals. And we'll start by looking at this and it plugs right into the board. As you can see it's got USIP pins for feet and pins to plug into the socket. I'll have some details on that on a blog page later. Let's see if I can get this plugged in here. Okay, we've got that and it's fairly firm. It does better uh, on a flat surface rather than the PCB holder. Let's see what we get here. We're getting output, but the frequency's changed. And let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the low frequency. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty smooth tuning using the poly capacitor. Let's go see what our low end is. Low end is about, if you zero beat in the CW position, it's somewhere around 29.3. And we'll sweep it up and see what we get out of one crystal here. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're up about 31, 20, 31, 30, roughly zero beat to zero beat. So we've got 29, 30 to 31, 30 here. 30, and that gives us about two kilohertz swing with the poly uh, capacitor in one crystal. And as I said, it moves pretty smooth. Surprisingly smooth. And the good thing about this using the poly rather than uh, some of the other VXO circuits is when it pulls the crystal frequency you get a, an adjustment upward so that instead of operating below the crystal frequency or below what it was the marked frequency um, you're actually uh, getting shifted upward such that on the high end you're up above the crystal frequency so this gives us a little better range um, and if you've got another station that's right dead on 7030, it lets you have an opportunity to um, work that station to spot your transmitter to your receiver. So that was the goal there. So this works pretty smooth. And what I'm going to do now is I also after that I had added a second socket to take advantage of the Super VXO principle, which most people are familiar with and we're just going to plug in another crystal remember we had about a 2kc range with one crystal and I will plug in the second one and let's see what we get here
Okay. Top end is shifted up now. Okay, we're up to about 32, whoops, power popped off. We'll be sure to get that clip on there a little more firm. Okay, about 3310 on the upper end. Let's tune down a little bit, see where we get. And I'll come back down with it. So we're not even 30, it's down below. 29 29.90 about 29.95 on the low end so just below the marked frequency up to 33.30 30. so 3320 so we've got a little over three to kcs there uh, three kilohertz uh, swing which gives us a little better range um, more tuning around with the two crystals and that's about it and like i said it's pretty straightforward just one capacitor and a socket and this little board is a cut down board from one of the little modules from radio shack and uh, a bunch of sip pins and I think that uh, this will work pretty well for us and gives us a little better operating range. Also, there's extra space on this board for a couple of other mods uh, that I have in mind. Um, if someone wants to try, for example, a small inductor, either in parallel or series with the crystals, capacitor, you might get some variants there. I've worked with it a little bit, but I was not as happy as just the basic situation here. And that's about it for uh, this series uh, of this particular mod. And as I said, I gave it a name, a lot like some people do. I call it the Simple Simon VXO. And there you have it. And thank you for watching. Um, gets us a nice range there.